Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm gonna to try this Tattooed Chef. This one is the plant-based bean, cheese, and rice burrito. It is a grain-free tortilla. It's vegan, gluten-free, and soy-free. It is a grain-free tortilla filled with grain-free rice, pinto beans, and cheddar cheese, um, cheddar-style cheese, sorry. So I had a bunch of people uh, ask that I try these, so we saw these in Kroger and I, I bought a few of them. I'm gonna try it out. So um, this one is 5.5 uh, ounces, 156 grams. I don't know if you can see that. It is frozen. These come in the frozen section. We bought it at Kroger. It was $2.99. Not super expensive, but not super cheap either for burritos. So sometimes you can get burritos for a dollar. So just, just to let you know. Um, this particular burrito is 350 calories for the whole thing. And there's your other info for you. So to microwave this, there's no other directions on here. So um, I guess you could do it other ways, but I, I don't know. This is all I see. So we're going to microwave from, uh, remove, wow, microwave. Remove from packaging and place on a microwave safe plate. Microwave on high for one minute. Flip it over and microwave for another 115 to 130. I'll probably just do the 115 or until it's heated through, let stand for one minute before serving. And then it said, make sure it reaches internal temperature 165 um, before you eat it. So what I found with these, if you take them out of the packaging, that's fine. I'm gonna do it on a paper plate. And I've just got a piece of parchment paper. That way it doesn't stick to your paper plate. So I'm gonna make some noise opening this. And I'm gonna lay it right here. I'm actually gonna put the seam side up at first because you do it for a minute and you flip it over. So I'm gonna do it like this. And like I said, the parchment paper is just to keep it from sticking to the paper plate because it will stick. Um, and I may, I mean, I don't have to pull it off. I'm not worried about it. I'm just gonna let, let it sit right there. So I'm gonna get it in the microwave, put it in for a minute, flip it, do it for 115, and I'll be back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave and I haven't done anything with it, just brought it over here. And uh, the good thing is parchment paper, you can see it's not stuck at all. I'm gonna cut it in half just so we can see what it looks like. You can see it did leak though. So you definitely uh, wanna put it on a plate of some kind. A little tough cutting it on that edge, but that could have just be because of the how the burrito is. There's, I see beans and I see cheese. Yeah, see the beans and the cheese, I see the rice. So I'm gonna let this, I actually probably cut this up in a smaller piece just so I can eat it better, but for video, but normally I would just probably cut it in half and then eat it like this. But for the video, I'm gonna cut it in a smaller piece, but I'll be right back. Hey, I gave it a minute to cool off. Not super long period of time, but I did cut it into like these, oh, I cut it into these little squares. Ooh, you can still see the steam coming up. Um, now I'm gonna try in the center first. The tortilla on the outside is a very different texture. It's very um, kind of tough and chewy. Um, not horrible, just different. Uh, the flavor of the filling, whatever sauce they use, I don't think it has anything to do with it being grain-free, whatever all it was, vegan, all that stuff. I don't think it has anything to do with that. It has to do with just the seasonings they used in it. Yeah, the seasonings are just a little different. They're not bad, they're just different. I tried just the filling. Um, most of what you taste is bean, and then you get an odd seasoning. And I love pinto beans. Pinto beans are one of my favorite beans. You know, good old soup bean, can't beat that. Um, the tortilla itself is it very, very odd texture. Now that I'm trying that again, I, you know, I had just the filling by itself and then I tried just that. I wonder if it's not the tortilla, uh, the round, uh, the outside. Um, I wonder if that's not what's giving it the odd flavor. So let me try the inside. That's fine. Like I said, mostly beans, a little bit of a, a weird seasoning, but it's, you know, it's not bad. Now let me try 
mostly just the tortilla. It's the tortilla that tastes funny. Whatever they're using to make the tortilla be grain free, it has an odd flavor. And the texture, like I said, is really tough and kind of dense and chewy. Not like chewy like in rubbery, just chewy like in really dense. You have to really work at it to chew. Um, leathery kind of. So um, not quite bad as leather, but kind of like that. Um, so if they'd given me a bowl of just the filling, I would have really liked it. The filling is actually pretty decent. I, the seasonings that I was getting right at first aren't as bad as I thought. They're just different. They're just different seasonings than what I was used to, but they're actually pretty decent. Um, like I said, you get really good, um, strong bean flavor. Um, the cheese flavor really doesn't come through for me at least. And the rice flavor, again, this adds more texture. It doesn't really add a lot of flavor. Most of what you taste is the bean and, and whatever seasonings are used in there. Um, the odd flavor comes from the tortilla. So, if you get, made these into bowls, it'd be much better. No tortilla, just a bowl of the filling. Um, overall, since I'm judging it on the entire thing, um, I could eat it. I wouldn't enjoy the outside as much as a regular tor flour tortilla, but um, I could eat it. I'm going to give it a three out of five. It's okay. Um, if I just ate the filling by itself, it'd probably be more of a three and a half out of five. Excuse me. It'd be more like a three and a half out of five. Um, but I really don't care for the tortilla, the, the flavor or the texture of it. Uh, but if you need vegan, you need gluten-free, um, soy-free, and, and all that stuff, grain-free, try them out. I think, I think you, if you need that kind of stuff, then this may be good for you. Uh, since I don't need that, I can eat a flour tortilla and I, it tastes a lot better and has a better texture. But if you need those kind of things, maybe you are really craving this kind of uh, food, uh, this might be really good for you. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.